Assetto Corsa is well known as a great overall sim racing title with realistic physics, endless car choices, and infinite mods that have something for everyone. At least that's what the PC version of the game is known for. This week, in anticipation for Gran Turismo 7, I purchased a PlayStation 4 Pro, because the 5 was impossible to find, and since the game doesn't release for a few more days, I decided to download Assetto Corsa with very low expectations. Little did I know though, I was in for a big surprise. Assetto Corsa on console is a lot better than I thought. Having previously heard relatively bad things about the game and its performance on Xbox and PlayStation systems, I didn't expect anything more than a bad looking game with mediocre performance, but that really wasn't the case. Assetto Corsa on console comes with a completely different user interface, optimized for console, yes, but also far more intuitive than the default PC version, which is quickly replaced by the content manager mod. The loading screens are also a pleasure to look at. Granted, in most cases, they're up for longer than on PC, while your console loads up the track and cars. Although you can't download third-party mods, which is what makes the game so popular on PC, Assetto Corsa still brings a good amount of content for console users. This includes special events with time trials, hot laps, drifting challenges, etc., which feature a fun combination of tracks and cars. The offline championships put you head-to-head -head with the AI as you compete the practice, qualifying sessions, and fight for points in the race. The career mode presents a fun challenge for many. In this mode, you begin with slower cars and climb the ranks, unlocking faster combinations of tracks and cars as you progress. Career mode presents a combination of quick races, time attacks, and race weekends. Combining aspects of all the previously mentioned game modes is the general gameplay mode, where you can freely choose what to do. Whether you want to practice, hot lap, time attack, or even start a quick race with the AI at whichever track and car combo you want, you can do that here. Unlike the PC version of the game, a drift mode is also present where you're free to drift around in a few tracks and open roads available. The online scene is unfortunately an aspect where Assetto Corsa definitely falls behind other titles on console. For starters, there's a very limited selection of online lobbies, most of which are just open world cruising servers and not actual races. For the few online races that you do come across, you'll most likely need several DLCs to join the game, and that leads me to the thing I dislike most about Assetto Corsa on console. Buying just the game alone, it comes with a fairly limited selection of cars, as Assetto Corsa sells several DLC packs needed to unlock the game's full potential. For example, all Toyota and most Porsche models are locked unless you pay separately for their respective DLCs. On PC, this is no big deal, since the game often goes on sale on Steam for around $5 with all of the DLCs included, but that is unfortunately not the case on PlayStation or Xbox. Thus, to really unlock the full potential of this game on console, expect to be paying quite a bit more. That being said, it might be worth it. Assetto Corsa's priced physics model is essentially the same on console as it is on PC, meaning you don't lose realism when it comes to the driving experience and simulation aspect of the game. Moreover, it looks and runs a lot better than I thought it would. Granted, it's not the best looking racing game in the market, but it certainly does look good enough, especially considering it came out for consoles in 2016. In terms of performance, my PlayStation 4 ran it with ease, and both consoles are capable of running Assetto Corsa at 60fps. For my research, the PlayStation can natively run the game at 1080p, whereas it's downscaled to 900p on Xbox One. Whether I was hot lapping by myself or running a 15 car race at the Norchlife, I experienced no issue with drops in frame rate, lag, etc. The only thing I could notice was that some reflections, most notably the ones in the car's hood, did look a little pixelated. Assetto Corsa's offline AI has always been okay. It's not anything to write home about, but it's good enough for some decent offline racing. Just expect some stupidity every here and there. In conclusion, Assetto Corsa is better than I thought it would be on console. It looks good, it runs great, and it features many of the same mechanisms found on the PC version of the game, making it one of the few true simulators available for both consoles. That being said, it's certainly not without its flaws. It features a limited selection of cars and tracks, especially compared to other titles, and many fun cars and some tracks are locked behind paywalls. The famous Assetto Corsa modding scene is also something console users miss out on, which is a devastating blow on this game's potential. 
On console, it is also far from an online racing game as many races are scarce and most servers only host open world maps intended for casual cruising. At the end of the day, Assetto Corso should not be your main racing game on console, but it's a good addition to have for occasionally lapping the Nordschleife or just practicing your driving in a realistic environment. It's not the Assetto Corso we have all come to know and love on PC, but it's also not as terrible as I think many people made it out to be. As always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.